So I'm gonna be doing all of Raylan's care by myself. I'm just not feeling it this morning, sweetie. <laughs> That's bad, <laughs> but it's gonna be good enough for it. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. Did you sleep good last night? Hmm? You're beautiful. We're gonna get up and get ready for our day, okay? Good morning. So today I'm a single dad. <laughs> Uh, and actually all this week, Abby's gone uh, for her nursing requirement. So I'm gonna be doing all of Raylan's care by myself. Here we go. Her oxygen was fine all night last night, but we still need to do her breathing treatments. So we'll start there. Shaker vest starting now. It's the fire in the rain. It's the smile within the pain. You don't like it today? <laughs> is it just too early? Is it just too early? It's yeah. the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door It's the figure on the wall So many times I hear the call while she shakes, I want to get her meds ready. It's the silence of the room. The way you turn before you bloom. Another shadow for the blind. Think I'm gonna lose my mind. Although I'm You done shaking, Raylan? Mm-hmm. I got your morning meds. They make you feel a little bit better. I'm just not feeling this morning, sweetie. I'm sorry. You feel better now? Okay, here's your morning meds, sweetie. So I should probably say that all of her morning meds aren't all due to her seizures. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but she has seizure meds in there. She has allergy meds in there. She has uh, acid reflux meds in there. <laughs> she has spasticity meds in there. And now I'm also gonna give her some Flonase and uh, vitamin D. Here's your vitamin D. Flonase. So after her shaker vest and budesonide uh, treatments, are you okay? okay. As I was saying, <laughs> after her um, shaker vest and budesonide, um, what's it called, nebulizer treatment, then we'll, we'll also do uh, cough assist. Those first two things loosen everything up inside of her so that if she has any gunk in her lungs or airway, it's real loose. And then the cough assist actually helps her to cough it up. So this is her least favorite. So if she didn't like the shaker vest this morning, she definitely won't like this. Spark to many of us here. Are you ready to do cough assist, sweetie? A crowded planet full of fear. It's not the way it's meant to be. Should be happy living free. <laughs> Did it make you sleepy? I think you minded the cough assist today less than you minded the shaker vest. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. <laughs> she often smiles during the shaker vest, but not so much the cough assist. Today the cough assist put her to sleep. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to do a quick little bed bath and get her changed, and that's going to happen right now. There we go. All clean. All clean. I'm gonna clean out her mouth next. This is a disposable swab, and I think these specifically we got from subscribers. So thank you. Although I'm running up a hill, I feel I'm always standing still. Gonna 
brush your teeth real quick also. And we are running low on time this morning, so I'm going to uh, do any of her morning routine that I've forgotten at church <laughs> or, or after church this morning. So we're going to go there next. Raylan, I'll have to do your hair at church. <laughs> hey, Emily, can you find a hairbrush for her? Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, we just did not get to everything this morning, did we? There we go, locked in. Okay, we are running just a few minutes late for church, but um, not horrible. I just underestimated how long it would take to get Raylan ready by myself. Abby usually isn't in as many of the videos, but she's always there with me, <laughs> uh, taking care of Raylan. So even if we're running in and out of her room at various times, two people taking care of her is a lot faster than one person taking care of her. So this morning took me a lot longer than I thought it would, but we are on our way. And we're only a couple minutes late, so not horrible. <laughs> I consider that a win. <laughs> Drop your hairbrush. Oh, we are at church, and her big brother was a huge help to me this morning in helping me get Raylan into her wheelchair. But we are here, maybe not completely put together, but here. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful sound. The place where they had assembled was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak God's message with boldness. Back home. What do you think? One, two, three. That's good. Can you get comfy, Raylan? How's that? Is that better? So since Abby's out of town, I had somebody else preaching for me this morning, which was super duper helpful. So Raylan was talking during the sermon and uh, I think she slept during a lot of the music today too. <laughs> I guess she was tired. <laughs> but after church, she was ready to get out of her chair. So we brought her home right after church and put her in her recliner. Um, she'll be more comfortable there. Now I need to finish doing her morning routine, which means giving her a new food bag. Don't know where I should begin Okay, I got the other one ready, but we're gonna let this one run out before we switch it over. We don't want to waste food, do we? Nope. I'm gonna eat that food up. I am the flash. Previously on the flash. I think your food ran out, Raylan. Time to change the bag. There you go. Eat the food again. 20 hours a day. <laughs> so I actually remembered that uh, Raylan might be having a nurse come in today, so I possibly don't have to do everything by myself today, which is awesome. <laughs> Checking the schedule right now. And so yeah, it looks like Raylan's nurse comes in at 6 p.m. today and will be staying till 6 a.m. So uh, she's taking the overnight shift, which means that I will actually get a good night's sleep tonight, <laughs> which I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but that being said, she's not here yet, which means that right now I need to do Raylan's afternoon meds. So here we go. So Raylan doesn't get nearly as many things in the afternoon. She just gets tizanidine that kind of takes the edge off of... That's her. <laughs> she just gets tizanidine that kind of takes the edge off of her pain and uh, helps with her spasticity a little bit. And she gets P5P, which is a vitamin that's known for, um, or, or at least suspected to help with seizures. I'm not sure if it's actually even known to help. But they say that um, people who take P5P, in addition to their other seizure meds, uh, the P5P kind of activates it and helps it somewhat. It's just vitamin B is what it is, activated vitamin B. that in the syringe. Got her powdered meds there. Get some water in there. Shake it up. And of course, one syringe for water also. 
Then in addition to her powder meds, she just gets one more. And that is her gabapentin. She gets six milliliters of that three times a day. And that's also for her spasticity uh, due to cerebral palsy. Just these two. Once your afternoon meds, yeah. There you go. I know where you know. There we go. Thanks, buddy. I know, sweetie. There you go. Back in bed. On your side, hopefully more comfy. Trying to watch a little TV? I can bring your Kindle over here. Mm-hmm. Let's watch a little TV. So I can just grab this stand, move it to the other side of the bed. Super easy. Position it however she needs. Let's see what Ani has to read to you. We're about to meet a boy named Sammy who wants to be a pirate captain. Do you think he has what it takes? Let's find out as we read Sammy the Sick Sick Pirate. Is it a bedtime story, Raylan? <laughs> she already put you to sleep. You can take a little nap. That's okay. Raylan's always on her own sleep schedule. <laughs> uh, we never know exactly how much she sleeps during the night, so if she wants to take a nap during the day, that's perfectly okay. We hope that she's often awake for her school teacher to come and speech therapist to come, but even then, sometimes she just doesn't want to work and she keeps her eyes closed. <laughs> so she does her own thing. <laughs> All right, back in our chair, finally getting to our hair. Actually, I brushed it a little bit at church, but not nearly as much as I needed to. Had a messy hair, don't care kind of day. <laughs> That's bad, <laughs> but it's gonna be good enough for it. <laughs> I think it's less of a ponytail and more of a top of the head tail. <laughs> what do you think, Ray? <laughs> Did I do okay? <laughs> Look like a samurai. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing hair. <laughs> but I know that if it doesn't get brushed once in a while um, between showers, that it's just going to be that much harder to um, take care of. So i going to try my best, right? Uh, but I am thankful that Raylan has a nurse coming in tonight, and she does much better with her hair than I ever do. <laughs> so I thought I would show Raylan's evening routine in this video too, but since her nurse is coming in, I won't be doing her evening routine. So, us single dads need to take all the help we can get, right? <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. There are truly single dads out there who, man, they don't get a break. So, hats off to them, man. Uh, it is, it's a lot. But, Raylan's worth it, and uh, Abby will be home in a week. So, I'm looking forward to that, big time. <laughs> God bless you guys. Whatever you're going through, you can get through it. Take care.